So what's up everybody and welcome to your next SML 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about views. Now views can be used for multiple things, it could be used if you want to do split screen gaming, if you want to handle screen scrolling, it can handle a, a, a number of different things. Uh, so right now I have created a background image and I've loaded it. And I've set the scale so because it's kind of large, so I scaled it so that it would fit inside the window vertically, but it wouldn't really fit in it horizontally wise. Uh, I created a rectangle shape, and I have my clock and my move speed. And I restart the clock up here before the event loop. And then when they press the right keyboard, I move it towards the right, uh, multiply it by the, the lapse time. And then if they press the left, then uh, we move it towards the left. We draw the background image first, so then it's not on top of the player. And then we draw the player after, we display it, and then we clear the window. Okay, so what we're going to be, uh, just to show you what I have right now. Uh, this is what I have, and when you move, you can move fine, right? Only left and right for now. Okay, so now we're going to be implementing views to implement some screen scrolling. So to create a view, we say SF colon colon view, and we name the view whatever we want to call it. Now, if we do view and we put the dot operator, we can see the different uh, functions we can use. And if we type in set, we can see the different set functions that we, we want to use. The first function we want to use is reset. And what this will do is that it will let us know the initial bounds at which we want to actually view uh, our viewpoint viewport to be in. So in this case, we're just going to set to 0, 0, screen dimensions dot x, screen dimensions dot y. So we want it to cover the whole screen, right? And so what we're going to do also, we're going to say view dot set viewport. So what this does set viewport allows us it basically gives us the ratio in which the view uh, on on how much of the view we actually want to view so if we put uh sorry yeah so i said float rect so if we put 0 0 1.0 0, 1. 0, then that means that we want to draw uh from the from the left from the far left of the window to the far right of the window so from zero to one that's the ratio which means we want to display the whole window uh, horizontally and if we put zero to one here that means we want us to uh, draw the whole image vertically as well but say I set this to uh, instead of putting one right here I put 0 0.5 now let's check oh we never even done anything with the views yet but let me put 0 0.5 here and just let me show you something. So in order to use a view, uh, what you would call is window set view and put the view in there. Now everything after you set the view gets affected by the view. Now say you only want to affect one thing by the view but you want to revert it back to the regular view after, then you would make a call to window dot, dot view that set view and then we say window dot get default view and that will give you the default view if you ever want to draw anything in the default view but let's just set this view right here and let's see what we get so as we see the image is, is squished kinda it looks squished up but it's it only shows on half of the screen the reason why it shows on half of the screen is because uh, we only set it that because the based on the ratio that we set it to we set it to 0 to 0 0.5 that means it's going to draw to half of the screen but vertically we're drawing everything so that's what you can do if you want to handle split screen gaming and we, we'll get more into split screen stuff and in, in other tutorials uh, drawing different stuff to different render targets uh, but Using this, we can we can do different. Uh, we can split the screen to two separate screens and do different things with them. Okay. Uh so let us continue. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna implement uh, some screen scrolling. So there's there's various things that we can use to do screen scrolling. Now 
one thing I need to let you know is that if you call view dot reset, if you do a, if you had done a rotation or something, it's gonna reset the rotation. It's gonna reset it back to zero. Okay, so that's what reset does. But this is what we could do. So if we want to handle screen scrolling, uh, this is what I'm I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you two different methods we could do it with. Now I'm not sure if one method is faster than the other. Uh, that's up to you to determine. Uh, but I will just show you multiple ways of going about it. So right now I'm just gonna set the position to zero zero, and uh, like I'm gonna leave it like so. So what I'm gonna put here, I'm gonna say if. Uh, let's see. So if the rect dot get position dot x and I'm gonna say plus 10 because since the, our the rectangle is 20 by 20 I just want to say get the get the position dot x will get the top left corner of it right but when I add 10 which is half the size of the rectangle that will get that will give us the center of the rectangle so if uh, so what we could do we could do this or you know what we're just gonna say position dot x is equal to rect dot get position dot x plus 10 subtract in brackets we're gonna put screen dimensions dot x divided by 2 and for same for position y but we're gonna say rect dot get position dot y plus 10 minus screen dimensions dot y divided by 2 so what is this gonna say so our position right now for a rectangle is set at uh, 0 0 so this is gonna say uh, get the position 0 plus 10 so 10 subtract screen dimensions x divided by 2 so 10 subtract 400 so that would give us negative uh, 390 right uh, so uh, that's gonna be our position for our camera and the same thing is gonna occur with our, our position Y so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say if position X is less than 0 then we set it to 0 and we're not gonna put else if we're gonna put if again if position Y is less than 0 then we're gonna set it to 0 and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a call to view dot reset and we're gonna put SF float and we're going to say position dot x position dot y screen dimensions dot x screen dimensions dot y and what this is going to do is that once the player hits the center of the screen that's when it's going to start scrolling so if right now since the player is towards the left of the center of the screen then what it's going to do is just keep on resetting it to zero once it passes the center of the screen or hits the center of the screen then it's going to start scrolling, right? It's going to start uh, the position we start at and the width and the height is going to be the same. So let me just run this to show you how it's going to work. So, oh, I haven't even, yeah, I never reset the viewport, but let, let's do this. And as you can see, for this half of the screen, it starts scrolling. When we hit the center of that viewport, it starts to scroll. You see? So we get a nice smooth uh, scrolling animation. Okay? So that's one way we can handle it by resetting it all the time. But uh, some may argue that reset is, is somewhat slower since it will reset the rotation and so on and so forth. So there's another method that we can go on if we want to handle screen scrolling as well. And uh, this is how we would go about it. Uh, so instead of uh, setting this to, to, to zero, what we can do is just uh, set the center. So set the player in the, uh, set it to the center. So what we're going to do now is for right here, we're going to set the position to screen dimensions dot x divided by 2 and we're going to set this to screen dimensions dot y divided by 2 okay and uh, what we're going to do is this so we're going to say uh, if rect dot get position dot x plus 10 is uh, 
is greater than screen dimensions dot x divided by two. Then we're gonna set the position x equal to rect dot get position uh, dot x plus ten. Okay, so that's what's gonna be, and we're gonna do that for the y as well. So rect dot get position, and, we're, and we don't even need to do for the y since we're only doing vertical movement right now. So we'll, we'll just do it for the for the x, and we'll put an else. Uh, give me a second, I got a call. I just put else, and then we we'll just put say position dot x is equal to screen dimensions dot x divided by two, and instead of saying view dot reset. What we're going to do is make a call to view that set center and what this does and we'll just put position in there is that uh the the camera the camera will be centered on the position that we specify so once the uh, player's position passes the halfway point then the camera is going to be centered on the player so we we get the same screen scrolling motion that we had before so that is it for this uh this view tutorial hope you enjoyed it i hope you have fun with screen scrolling and in the if not the next tutorial uh within the next few tutorials we'll get into handling uh separate viewports for like screen scrolling and, i mean for uh for split screen gaming so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment rate subscribe and bye